As Victoria's first public hospital, the Royal Melbourne has a long and proud history in clinical research. Clinical trials are integral to excellent patient care. Our new Clinical Trials Centre will help us achieve our vision of being first in care, research and learning. Rose is my little sister um, and I myself have um, type 1 diabetes and I've had it for the last 10 years. Um, I'm really pleased she's involved in the trial because if it means that she doesn't get diabetes or it prevents her from getting it for a certain amount of time, then that's really important for our family. Clinical trials are very rewarding to be part of. Uh, for the clinicians, it places it at the forefront uh, of uh, the disease uh, and, and advances in treatment. But for the participants, it allows them to access new treatments, but also um, to participate in this process and to give something back to the community. It's actually a real pleasure and a privilege to be able to provide patients care in an environment like this where we're providing them with care that we really believe in and that we believe will make a real difference. It's fantastic to see the transformation of a patient's life from dialysis onto transplantation with newer treatments and newer therapies such that they begin to enjoy their life really fully again. Well this is an amazing time to be working at the Royal Melbourne and with our partners in the Parkville Precinct, the University and the Institutes. It's an extraordinary area and the collaborations have really been transformative over the past 30 years that I've been doing research in stroke. Uh, my own role and particular interest has been in prevention, prevention of bowel cancer. And in indeed, my early work for my doctorate uh, laid the foundation for the implementation of the National Bowel Cancer Screening Program. Clinical trials in MS has made it possible for us to have almost 11 disease-modified treatments now available to people with MS in Australia. So we have a culture of looking to make a difference through research and particularly through clinical trials. And clinical trials is, of course, how you prove something makes a difference to people. How are you today? I'm glad to be here. Um, I know that many of the patients I see have often exhausted currently available opportunities and are often quite unwell and so some of the new drugs and particularly biologics that are available in clinical trials have the capacity I know to make an immense difference to patients. How has the clinical trial improved my quality of life? Um, it's improved it dramatically. I'm able to hold a conversation um, my, my sense of normal now is almost like everyone else's. It's, it's amazing, the transformation. <laughs>